This newsreel is being brought to you by Northcrest Medical Center. Several Tennessee State Masters students came by the Bransford Center in Springfield. This is part of the Bransford Revitalization Project. At any rate, uh, they came by the uh, center to do one thing, get the students excited about science. All right. We're trying to get the kids more interested in science, uh, so we came up here and uh, performed a few cool experiments to try and um, arouse their interest in sciences. It seems like you were successful. Yeah, it seemed like we were. The candy helped out a lot too, though. <laughs> yeah, candy and science. I think candy and science. What do you think? Is that a good combination? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> You have to use science to make candy, don't you? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's what we're trying to let these guys know today. You need science for everything. Well, how old were you when you got involved in the science? Uh, I think my first science experiment, honestly, was probably uh, third or fourth grade. You think there was somebody like you that did a science project and got you excited about it? Do you have a, a memory? Who turned you on to science? Um, probably my dad. My dad probably turned me on to science a lot, and that's how I got interested into it. Did you enjoy the class? Did you learn something? Do you like science? Yes. Did you like the class? Yes. Did you learn something? Yes. Do you like learning? All right, great. Do you like science? Yes. Are you going to be a scientist when you grow up? Yes. What, do you want to be a scientist when you grow up? Yes. That's great. Did you learn something today? Yes. Is it fun to learn? Yes. Did you have a good time? Do you like science? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. What did you like the most? Me too. You like science? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. Do you like science? Yes. Do you like it more now than you did before the class? Yes. Well, what did you think? <coughs> Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Did you learn something? Yeah, I know what hydrogen peroxide is. Very good. You said it correct. Very good. And do you want to be a scientist when you grow up? Mm hmm. Do you like science? You seem to be pretty good at answering the questions. Yes. You have somebody at home that likes science too? No. So you're a one-man show, huh? Mm, yes. You learned something today? Mm, yes. Do you like learning? Yes. Today, the children, uh, well, let me back up. Each day from 4.30 to about 5.10, they have um, a community activity. So today, this was a science project. We reached out beyond Robertson County, went to Nashville, and Tennessee State University uh, Chemistry Department graduate students came out to just to enhance their uh, learning on science. You think it was a, I mean, it seemed to be a hit to me. It was. It's what they truly enjoyed it. Uh, some of them might not be able to express themselves because we have kindergarten through fifth grade here in this room. And but I'm sure they picked up something, if nothing but the elephant toothpaste. Uh, what a neat curriculum you have here for an after-school program. Uh, we we try to do our best here. We have about 36 children on roll. Um, we have certified uh, teachers from Robinson County Board. They're with the extended contract, and uh, each day, uh, Monday through Thursday, they are here from 3.30 to 4.30 for tutoring and academics. And then as I said before, the 4.30 to 5.10 is when we have community activities for the children. Um, we've been here since November and we'll be here until May 25th when school is out. This summer we will have our summer camps and uh, two weeks in June and two weeks in July we have our academic enrichment, which is for reading, math, and uh, writing. Then also during June and July, we will have camps for like introduction to tennis, uh, CSI, that's where uh, the police department will teach children about uh, finger uh, printing and if you would ever want to be in law enforcement because uh, we want to also help build their career choices as well. And there's so many others, the 4-H will be here, uh, the uh, Jerry Braswell Marshal of Arts will be here. Each week for seven weeks we have uh, a camp 
prepared. So uh, this next coming this coming in week, the applications will go to each feeder school, Bransford Westside, Cheatham Park, uh, Chrysler. And we're looking for a great time this summer. Uh, on Fridays, uh, Chief Thompson has uh, arranged for us maybe to attend the YMCA for swimming time. So we're looking for a high time, fun time, and a learning time this summer. It may be the most important picture you'll ever have taken. A high-tech image with remarkable clarity that can help diagnose your medical condition and potentially save your life. Advanced Medical Imaging, all the services you need with convenience and compassion. Northcrest Medical Center, bringing exceptional care to our community.